took one look at this picture and how peaceful it looked and still and I thought I gotta record that so I did <laughs> took a snapshot and said wow I gotta get out there and get in it you know and record it and be a part what a beautiful day I mean what a day that today is so far I don't know what your day's like but boy my day is just like peaceful calm quiet it's amazing sometimes how God can bring those things into your life and allow you to just stop Listen. Do you hear that? Careful. It was the sound of silence. You know, they sang that song, The Sound of Silence, you know, about darkness. But you know, there's something quiet, peaceful, something soothing and calm about being still and knowing God. For myself, I I can't tell you what it's like to just uh, be quiet, be still, and know God. I'm getting ready to go on a vacation in about a week, and we're going to shut down Vidivo and the entire website, you know. Maybe not shut it down, but, you know, there won't be anything new on it for about seven to ten days. All we do, my wife and I, <laughs> is nothing. <laughs> we literally go out in the woods, pitch a tent, set up our sleeping bag, you know, and we have a little beat up table, you know, not a not a fancy camp stuff, you know, we're not we don't have a lot of money. We're poor, you know, just like you. We go to these places where they only let you, you know, like you know, Oregon where they if you if you camp out, you know, like in some unimproved camp spot you can stay there according to the forestry service for about seven days then you have to move on well we go there and we just camp out go get some wood I build fires every morning for my wife and we sit around the fire at night we just do nothing <laughs> we barely talk even because sometimes you know you get your life so busy so full of doing something being something maybe even revealing something and you just don't have any time to just do nothing and sometimes God wants you to relax wind down be still they used to call it a sabbatical did you know that? people used to take a sabbatical they would leave their job or their family or whatever it may be for a certain amount of time to have a sabbatical, kind of like a, a wind down, wind off, just kind of relax time. Wouldn't that be nice to just take a sabbatical, to take, like they say in Australia, a walk around, you know, to take off and go walk it? Yeah, you know, maybe take a year off. <laughs> Okay, maybe not that long. But some mornings God brings me a sabbatical like today. When I had my hummingbird here earlier and the squirrels were playing and then the hummingbird was doing his thing. And it's almost like in phases, different things happen throughout the morning. The turtle doves were out earlier and real early there was one big giant rat that runs around. You know, Sooner or later somebody's going to catch him. <laughs> but he's a giant rat. My wife sees him all the time. He's kind of like, you know, does the same thing as squirrels do, only a lot earlier. But uh, it's just beautiful and amazing to see how we, whether it be plants, animals, or people, can respond to the peace of God that passes all understanding. How we can relax and enjoy the love of God that He shed abroad in our hearts, how we as 
spiritual beings can enjoy God for the joy that he's given us of salvation. Maybe today you could take time, quiet time, to be still, to be calm, to be quiet. The Lord has made all that he did to prosper in his hand. Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Trust in the Lord, and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God, even thy God, is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. As long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. Beware that you forget not the Lord your God, in not keeping his commandments and his judgments, and his statutes which... I command you this day, and say in thy heart, My power and the might of mine hand has gotten me this wealth. I did it myself. Then the Lord provided. Is not the Lord your God with you? Has he not given you rest on every side? Hmm. People look at me and say, But, you had it so easy. No, I didn't. But but you had like this great emotional experience. Yeah, and I went through a lot of suffering. Times of tribulation and trial. But 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 look at you now. You're so healthy. But I spent years in hospitals dying. But but you know God so intimately. After many times of speaking to me, God at times has been silent for years even. But you know, all I can tell you about my life and everything that it's been through, whether it be good, bad, the trials, the tribulations, the marriages, yes, I've been married more than once, I've been divorced, the challenges, the agonies, the ecstasies, the successes and the failures, is that God always never forsook me or left me. God never abandoned me. God never decided that it's enough and left me. No, the day that I gave him my life, he came to me and said, I will be with you always even unto the end of the age. And for a loner who had no friends and no one, even family, that was that close, my family can tell you, the only one that's as close to me as a friend is Jesus. And I can wish for you no other one other than the Son. Because friends will come and go family will be there or not at times just like with Jesus all men will fail you at some point in time even husbands or wives or children in all ways there will always be something that will make you sad or depressed discouraged or bummed but you know I've never had that discouragement whenever I talk to God. Because you see, when you really discover that He's your Father in Heaven, when you really get intimate and real, and you quit playing games religiously or churchiology or however you want to put it, when you finally just admit who you are to Him, you find out He already knows that. He just wants you to learn how to be real 
and accept yourself as he sees you. Not just who you are as a failure or as a struggling person, but who he sees you as what he's doing in you to make you into the image of his son. That's the amazing thing about our Father. He gave his son for you, but he also gave his spirit to change you, to rearrange your priorities in your life, to make you into who you were meant to be from the beginning. I like that about a creator of the universe. He knows what's best. He knows the way. He knows the timing. And he knows when to rest. Today, maybe, just maybe, you need to take a rest and remember the Lord your God.